Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! Let's play Zeno Gears! Starting against the Wand Knight. So, let's see. Let's just go with the regular physical attack. As long as you've got a magnetic coat equipped, your accuracy against them should be nearly guaranteed. Yeah, you saw those red numbers there? That's because I've got the uh, Guardian Ring equipped on Faye. And that effect carries over to gears. I wouldn't worry too much about your HP and fuel. You'll be fine here. Although the beam attack, that is one of the reasons why I have the beam coat equipped on Faye there. So it's pretty nice. But otherwise, just the two of these, pretty easy. I think all of these guys are identical to the first time we fight them. Or fought them back at uh, Bart's lair there. So, yeah, kind of weird, but... Okay. The only difference, though, this time, is that we're by ourselves, and we have to fight them... Well, not all at once, but a lot of them at once, instead of taking them on one at a time there. So it does make this a little bit tougher, but nothing too extraordinary. All right, now for this one, let's see. Let's start with the Claw Knight. Which one is that? I think that's this guy. So, yeah, let's take that guy out first. Okay, good, good. I got the right one. He deals a bit more damage than the other two do. And, yeah, Aegis Knight can crush your armor, but I'm not really worried about that right now. If he does that again, I might consider using, where is it, yeah, Inner Healing to restore my defense, but for right now, I think we're good. Usually a Fierce Attack and a good Death Blow can take these guys out. They do not have very much HP. Yeah, way less than what I've got. I wonder why that guy called this God Slayer or something. Let's see, none of these guys have any beam attacks, but the Guardian Ring really helps with a lot of damage mitigation here, although that's not extraordinarily important. Now with the Aegis Knight, they have a lot of defense, so I'm not even sure if my Fierce Attack would pierce that, but we'll see. I mean, I am a little stronger than before. Not that much stronger. Okay, I'm going to go up to my level 2 attack level for this guy. So just press the triangle button to do a weak attack. And press circle to get your next turn. Or to cancel doing a death blow. And then, yeah, let's just go with those two. Hmm, not quite enough, huh? Yeah, this guy has 700 HP. Now, if you don't have your fourth death blow learned for Faye yet, because sometimes I don't have it by this point, I would just stick to level one death blows. It'll take a little bit longer, but you'll be okay. But yeah, I wouldn't use Faye's third death blow, which would be square triangle, because that requires an attack level of two, and it's not that much stronger than a level 1 death blow with triangle square there, but yeah, we get a little bit of extra armor. Awesome. I don't think I'm going to use it, but it's there. But alright, took care of Team Rocket there. Ha ha. Well, I've gotten immensely better gear than you guys have, evidently. And you guys don't have a whole lot of HP. Yeah, that's the solution to your problems. Drugs. Lots and lots of drugs. That's the lesson for the kids. But what? Is this flashback time? Why is it always slanted like that? I hate it when they do that. Like in movies or 
video games where they just tilt things off. It really bothers my OCD. Didn't you just go down this hallway? Man, talk about aggressive salesmen. Drug dealers. Holy cow! Although, the, your whoever provides your drugs probably should be the one to tell you what drugs you need. I mean, after all, you shouldn't need to tell your doctor what kind of drugs you need. You know, they should do the diagnosis themselves. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, everyone hates everyone else. Of course. Couldn't you just go through the next door there? Who's Eric? I'm guessing it's probably pronounced Eric or something. Oh. Hmm, I wonder what that's all about. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Well. Oh, yeah. We did see that uh, cutscene earlier back at the forest. So, hmm, I guess that was what it was about. Guys trying to sell you drugs and... Yeah, you piss her off or something. You don't want to see Ellie when she's angry. For boss time! What voice? Whoa! What happened to your face? I like whenever Beard attacks, it's... Uh, you see little hearts, or pink hearts, popping out of wherever she's attacking there. Like, really? Oh! Uh, evidently! Yeah, stop trying to cheer me up! It's depressing! Okay, we're all gonna die a horrible, painful death. Lingering death. However the quote is. Now oh, that makes me feel so much better. Holy cow, how are we gonna deal with that? How powerful could they possibly be? <laughs> with the right accessories... Did that damage me? Oh. Well, she did go to Ugand, so... Well, you guys try using it then. But all right, okay, so let's see. Yeah, let's just go. Hmm. I'm gonna go up to uh, level two attack level because Virch has a lot of HP. Well, you're not doing a very good job, are you? I'd make a reference to Veecher and Star Trek The Motion Picture, but I haven't seen that movie in forever. There's probably a good reason for that. But alright. 
Gotta have the ass shot, absolutely. Since when did realization that you're being influenced by a drug break you out of that influence? I mean, that's like saying just because you realize you're drunk doesn't mean that, you know, you're suddenly not going to be drunk. How does it even work? Well, you're not dealing with the real Ellie now. Well, I was kind of there. I think I would now. Whoa! Watch out for the mule kick. But all right. Not bad, not bad. Beerge has about 2,400 HP, so this fight can take a little while. But she doesn't have that much evasion, or agility for that matter. Surrender or die in obscurity. No, no, that's another game of yours. This fight is not scripted, by the way. You do have to win it, eventually. Well, at least I can deal decent damage with my fierce attacks. Unlike that Aegis tonight. Oh, this... Ow! Oh, well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I was expecting it to be more like four or five hundred. Maybe you should try using those air odds more instead of trying to beat me over the head like that. It doesn't seem to be working out too well for you. Let's see, hopefully one more will get me, if not close to killing her, all the way. Oh, okay, I didn't realize you were going to use air odds that often. Usually she doesn't. But she's not dealing that much damage with it, so I don't care. Fortunately, one nice thing about this game, when an enemy uses, like, an ether attack, like air rods against you, they'll actually tell you that it's an ether attack. Sometimes, oh, most of the time in JRPGs, they don't tell you what element an attack is necessarily in-game, or whether it's a physical or a magical attack, or if it ignores defense or whatever, but... Yeah, one nice thing about Xenogear is they actually tell you that. Like the beam attack that the... Uh, what was it? That the Wand Knight had there. What do you mean? I'm still kicking ass. I guess I dealt enough damage. I didn't think I was quite that close to 2400. They didn't even give me a chance to use my third death blow. Can we survive? <laughs> What's going on? Dude? Well, if you let me finish my death blow, we can get moving. Yeah, whenever you are attacking an enemy, and you deal lethal damage to them, like in the middle of a death blow, at least in Gears, they will uh, prevent you from actually using that death blow, the battle is over, and that's it. Yeah, tackle her! That's the solution to problems! You insolent fool! Well, you're about to! Man, those drugs don't last very long, do they? Though I suppose, in a fist fight, fights aren't gonna last that long. Sooner or later, someone's going to... break. Thanks for not attacking me, guys, while I'm tackling your leader, or your superior officer. But I guess we kind of disabled them.
Maybe you should get her out of that thing. Ah! Is she okay? that way. There you go. Whoa. Well, you're pretty good at it, evidently. Well, she works for the Evil Empire. Well, yeah, that's usually the way drugs work. They change the way the mind or body works. I mean, besides the air rods and all that. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, well, yeah, we had the exact same problem. <laughs> well, yeah. Wars aren't supposed to be fair. That's kind of the idea. Well, maybe you should see a therapist. Well, I can give you another home. Well, the gear works for her. I like the colors. So... No more party members? No, I guess we just kick their ass and get going. But all right, as long as we're here. Yeah, that, that pathway to whatever that outdoor area was. Yeah, that's just a little area that doesn't lead us to the end or anything like that. But I do want to rest up there and let's see i don't think i'll need the the bean coat anymore at least i mean i'll save it for later of course but yeah let's get that going the one magnetic coats that should be all i need and yeah we'll continue across the mountains but can we get to the kids left border in time Find out next time on Let's Play Xenogears. This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.